Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is part 17 in the video series Salvation Through Works is Heresy. Uh, brother, this is our 17th video. I think uh, this will be the conclusion. Mm -hmm. uh, the verses we want to go over next are, are kind of a follow-up to the previous verses we were discussing. Yeah, and, and I want to go over these verses because uh, we're going to look at a story that Jesus told in the book of Luke, chapter 18, verses 9 through 14, that are going to illustrate what Jesus was saying in the previous verses we went over in, in Matthew chapter 7, and then also uh, what Paul says in Galatians chapter 4. So I'll go ahead and read through those verses that we went over previously, and then we'll go ahead and read through that story to see um, it illustrated um, uh, what is, is said in these verses in, in that story. Um, in Matthew chapter 7, Jesus says, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name ha have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. And in Galatians 5, uh, Paul says, For if you are trying to make yourself right with God by keeping the law, you have been cut off from Christ, you have fallen away from God's grace. So now I'm going to go ahead and read through the story that illustrates uh, what those two scriptures are saying. Okay. Then Jesus told this story to some who had great self-confidence and scorned everyone else. Um, two men went to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a dishonest tax collector. The proud Pharisee stood by himself and prayed this prayer. I thank you, God, that I am not a sinner like everyone else, especially like that tax collector over there. For I never cheat, I don't sin, I don't commit adultery, I fast twice a week, and I give you a tenth of my income. But the tax collector stood at a distance and dared not even lift his eyes to heaven as he prayed. Instead, he beat his chest in sorrow, saying, O oh God, be merciful to me, for I am a sinner. I tell you, this sinner, not the Pharisee, returned home justified before God. For the proud will be humbled, but the humble will be honored. So, um, Luke, I, I see in this story here what this uh, Pharisee is doing. He, he's doing exactly what Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 tells you not to do. Um, uh, lest any man should boast. And that's what he's doing. He's boasting about his works, and he's trying to be justified before God through his works. I mean, what do you think about this? Well, I'd like to go through it uh, like bit by bit and analyze it here. Let's, let's, let's the last part you went over. Let's uh, work our way through that. Okay. Uh, two men went to the temple okay. to pray. First of all, who's who's speaking there? Who's telling the story? Jesus. So this is a story Jesus is telling to teach us something. Um, one was a Pharisee. Wait a second. What, well, what was a Pharisee? A religious leader. This is a very religious person. So all you people out there who are really religious, trying to justify yourselves with your religions, this is talking about you. And the other was a dishonest tax collector. Okay. This tax collector was dishonest, so he's a sinner. Exactly. Okay. The proud Pharisee... He's, he's proud. Okay, pride is a sin. He's full of himself. Spiritual pride. Stood by himself and prayed this prayer. I thank you, God, that I am not a sinner like everyone else. <laughs> Wait a second. He says he's not a sinner. You know, I've seen some people preach on the university campuses and in the streets, and they claim that they're not sinners, and they say that uh, they are sinlessly perfect. They say they don't even have a sin nature. And it sounds like this, what that Pharisee is saying right there, isn't it? It's, it's speaking about them, yeah. what you're saying. Especially like that tax collector over there. He, wait, he Now he's pointing the finger at other people's sins instead of recognizing that he is full of spiritual pride. For I never cheat, I don't sin, I don't commit adultery, I fast twice a week, and I give you a tenth of my income. Okay, first he's saying he doesn't sin. I mean, I know some people on YouTube here that have channels and they claim they don't sin. And that uh, if, you're, uh, if you're doing any sin, then you're not even saved. 
Uh, so it's just like this guy. He says he doesn't sin, and then he lists all the good things he's doing to justify himself to God. We already determined we cannot be justified to God through our works. And yet that's exactly what he's trying to do. Exactly. He's boasting about his works okay. before God. But the tax collector stood at a distance and dared not even lift his eyes to heaven. So the tax collector is really, really, really humble to, before God. As he prayed, instead he beat his chest in sorrow, saying, Oh God, be merciful to me, for I am a sinner. He's confessing that he's a sinner. He understands his sinful condition. Not like the Pharisee did, he doesn't even recognize he's a sinner. He even denies he's a sinner. I tell you, Jesus says here, this sinner, not the Pharisee, returned home justified before God. All right. So, those of you out there who are uh, like this Pharisee, you claim you don't sin. You're pointing the finger at other people, saying, talking about their sins, and not looking in the mirror and admitting that you're you're a sinner, and you're trying to justify yourself to God through your own false self-righteousness this parable the Pharisee is you in this picture and the, the sinner the, um, the dishonest tax collector that's a person who rec admits his sin and cries out to God for mercy and that's what we do to get saved we, under we must first understand that we're a sinner we need Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of our sins we don't boast to God and try to say I deserve heaven because I did this and this Exactly. So, I, I mean, we can learn from these scriptures here. What we can learn is, is to summarize it, um, we have a, 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 the Pharisee, a, a, a false profession uh, here. We, we, we have self-deception here with the Pharisee. Um, we see that works are insufficient um, for salvation and in being, in, in being made right with God. Your works are insufficient to make you right with God. This is what we can see here. Uh, we, we can see self-righteousness here in the Pharisee. We can see self-exaltation, -exalt, um, spiritual pride, and we can see someone who's trusting in their works and not in God's grace and His mercy um, through uh, Jesus Christ for their salvation. The Pharisee is a, a religious hypocrite. And... Um, so this really kind of is like the... the uh, the coup de grace in this series. This this is an example to illustrate exactly the primary point we made for the whole series is is that this sinner here in the story told by Jesus is the one that's justified to God because he admits his sin and cries out for mercy to God. And we receive mercy by trusting Jesus' death on the cross as, as, as for the forgiveness of Amen. our sin. The Pharisee is like all the people out there who are religious people who are full of pride, self-righteousness, and, and rebuking and condemning others, but won't take a good look in the mirror to see the hypocrite that you are. So, I, I mean, closing comments. Uh, you know, um, I, I would like to make some closing comments. Uh, uh, I think we could maybe uh, make a closing comment video, maybe? All right, we'll do that in the next okay. video.